And we're going to get that from line 2 by conditional decomposition. So we've got line 2. Now we're going to branch out and do our line 1, conditional decomposition. And that will be on line 6. Line 1, conditional decomposition. And we all know that gives us two possibilities. Either B fails or J occurs. Then we're going to do line 3, disjunction decomposition. And we're going to have to branch on line 7, all crazy like this. Uh, not H or B on every open line. So here we have B, J, not J. Oh, we could close this one. Uh, we actually could have closed this branch here. We shouldn't have even come down further. Here we have not H and not H, that's fine. B and not B, that is not okay though. So we're going to close that one. We have J, J, B, H, that's fine. Not H and H, that's not okay. We're going to close that. B and not B, that's closed. So we have this one and this one and this one that are open branches. Okay, next we have a really ridiculous one. Tilde bracket parenthesis B and J parenthesis if and only if tilde parenthesis W or Z parenthesis bracket. And it is not the case that J and W occur. So first they're going to do the negated biconditional decomposition from line 1, which means we have to branch immediately. Line 1, negated biconditional decomposition. That gives us B and J, and not, not W or Z or not B and J and not W or Z. Okay, on line 5 and 6 we're going to decompose number 4, disjunction decomposition. Okay, on line 5 and 6 we're going to decompose uh, line 4, the negated disjunction. It'll be not W and not Z. Now we only do it in this branch because it doesn't occur in that branch. So for line 5 and 6 in that branch, we just carry. Just put a little line coming down. It's part of what gives this method the tree idea. So that's from line 4, a negated disjunction decomposition. So on line 7 then, we're going to do uh, get rid of this tilde tilde and just say either W or Z occurs. So that's from line 4, negated tilde decomposition. Then we're going to say that B and J occur on line 8 and 9. So that's from line 3, condition, or uh, ampersand decomposition. So now let's take our W or Z out, line 10. W could occur, or Z could occur. Taking care of that. And we still got this branch over here open. Well, let's continue here. Uh, so we got, we're down to W or Z. And we've got this closed, this closed, and this closed. And we already closed that. But we haven't closed line 2 yet. So now let's do line 2. It is not the case that J and W occur. It means either J fails or W fails. So we're going to have to go line 11 now. Like this. And this is going to have to branch out, you see. This is part of the lesson of this particular one. Either J fails or W fails. In all of our open
important branches. And now we can find J, not J, kill it. J, not J, kill it. Not W. How about this one? Not W, W, kill it. It's got one open branch right there. And we've decomposed everything up and through here. But we've got one undecomposed sentence. We haven't done this one yet. So now let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to decompose. So this line 3 negated conjunction decomposition. We're going to get uh, either B fails or J fails. Now we've dot, done everything. And let's see if we have any recoverable truth assignments. There's one over here in this branch. And all of these are fine. B failing or J failing, J fails, W fails, Z fails, W fails. All those are good truth value assignments, but only W failing and Z and G, J and B obtaining are good truth value assignments.